Perhaps just while we're waiting, could I just take this opportunity to introduce uh, the people who are up here with me. On my right, uh, Detective Senior Sergeant Tony Geary, G-E-A-R-Y, who's the officer in charge at Upper Mount Cravat CIB. And on my left, uh, Detective Senior Constable Jay Notaro, N-O-T-A-R-O. Jay is one of the lead investigators in relation to some of the more serious armed robberies that we've had some arrests on overnight. So when we get going, I'll just make some comments. Uh, I'll just hand over to Tony, who will just provide you a little bit more information about some of the arrests in Metro South this morning. And then uh, all three of us will be available to answer any questions that you might have. Okay, all right. Well, thank you everybody for uh, your attendance this afternoon. Uh, we just wanted to provide uh, the media and the public with some updated information about some significant arrests that we've made in the last 24 hours on both sides of the river in relation to some armed robbery offences. Uh, in Metro North in the last 24 hours, detectives there have arrested two offenders aged uh, 25 and 17 for two armed robbery offences which occurred uh, about a month ago. Uh, the first was the Nunda one-stop convenience shop on the 25th of April and then the following night, the 26th, the Turinga Night Owl was robbed by the same two offenders. Now, uh, we've arrested two offenders. There's still one offender outstanding. Those offenders used a handgun. Fortunately, we've recovered that weapon. Um, in Metro South, uh, in the last 24 hours, there were two separate uh, pieces of activity in relation to armed robbery. In the first, we arrested two offenders aged 24 and 22 for a rolling series of uh, robberies on members of the public that occurred in the South Brisbane and Marta Hospital area late yesterday afternoon. In the midst of those offences, one member of the public uh, did sustain a wound uh, from a knife used by one of the offenders. So both of those offenders have been arrested and charged with uh, four counts of armed robbery one attempted armed robbery and one count of unlawful wounding. Now, over the last uh, five to six weeks, detectives in the Metro South region, assisted by State Crime Operations Command, have been uh, investigating uh, a number of serious armed robberies in the uh, Metro South area. That investigation went under the name of Operation Juliet Ventura. In the last 24 hours, detectives uh, involved in that operation have arrested four offenders and uh, charged them in relation to two fairly serious armed robberies. The first occurred at the Sunnybank Hotel on the 19th of March, and the next one occurred the next night, the 20th, at the Lucky Star Tavern, also in Metro South. Now, in those two offences, there uh, were uh, a number of offenders. Not all have been arrested at this time. The offenders uh, were armed with shotguns. Uh, in at least one of those offences, one of the victims was assaulted by one of the offenders and some of the victims had some of their personal property stolen. So they were certainly very, very serious offences as far as we're concerned. The results that have been achieved on both sides of the river in the last 24 hours are a testament to the uh, excellent result and hard work of the detectives on both sides of the river who have been working with assistance from State Crime Operations Command from our scenes of crime staff and also staff from Operation Support Command to achieve these results. They're indicative of the uh, ongoing commitment that we have to solve each and every one of these armed robberies. We regard armed robbery as a very, very serious offence, carries a maximum of life imprisonment under the criminal code, and we're very, very conscious of the trauma that is caused to victims of armed robbery. That is why we will be uh, relentless in our search for these people. We never give up on armed robbery offences, no matter where they occur around the state. It doesn't matter to us whether it's a convenience store, a takeaway shop, a service station, a 7-Eleven, a video store. Each of these so-called soft target armed robberies represents a very serious threat to the safety and the well-being of the customers and staff in these premises and we take these investigations most seriously. I'm very pleased that the results that have been achieved over the last uh, few days and few weeks reflective of the confidence that we have in our regional detectives to be able to fully investigate these offences and bring offenders to justice. 
As I've indicated, we have not yet got all of the offenders for all of these offences, and we would encourage members of the public who have information about these offences and other offences to continue to communicate with us via Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Anything they tell us will be kept in strictest confidence and they do not need to divulge their identity. And uh, as Tony might indicate, that has been a significant breakthrough in one of these cases. So without any further ado, I'll hand it over to Tony. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> yes, I'd like to thank the members of the public that um, have come forward in relation to um, uh, these investigations. Um, I'd also like to call on the person who contacted Crime Stoppers some time ago and gave us information in relation to the identity of uh, some of the offenders involved, and I'd ask that person if they would to call back, please. Uh, as the Deputy stated, the investigation is ongoing and uh, further ex charges are expected to be laid. Um, I'll take questions if you like. Okay. Happy to have questions. Tony, did you want to make any specific um, comment about the work that your detectives have specifically um, put into arrest these guys? All I'd like to say is that um, with the support of um, state operations support and um, state crime, um, they've worked uh, tirelessly over the last uh, six weeks uh, to uh, bring this to a successful uh, conclusion. However, as uh, the Deputy stated, the investigation is ongoing and we do expect uh, further persons to be uh, charged. Tony, do you also expect, or are you still investigating other hold-ups by the individuals who have been charged with the Lucky Star and Sunny Bank Hills? Because at the time, what police were saying was that they believe that they will strike again. Look, I wouldn't like to comment on that at this time. As I stated, our investigations are continuing in relation to their activities and the activities of their associates. Where are these two from? The uh, armed robberies occurred... Uh, in the, uh, sorry, oh, sorry the offenders. The offenders. There are the four offenders to be arrested to date are from um, areas within um, South Brisbane District and uh, Logan and uh, the Oxley Police District. Uh, they're not uh, related um, personally, as per family members, no. Have you recovered the shotguns? Not at this time. That's obviously a concern for us. We still have a number of firearms outstanding, and um, we'd certainly appeal to anyone who has any information about the whereabouts of those weapons to contact uh, the investigating detectives or through Crime Stoppers as we're very keen to recover those, ensure they're not used to terrorise other people in the future. Tony, are you still investigating links to other armed um, hold-ups related to those two? Yes. Um, can you rule out the Runcorn Tavern uh, hold-up, I think, a month prior? As I said, investigations continuing into relation to these piece, people's activities and um, I wouldn't like to comment on the specifics of investigations at this time. Ross, recently you've defended the need to establish a special task force to address um, armed robbery around Brisbane. I guess today you must feel vindicated in, in that decision. Yeah, we, I do because uh, history has shown us that these type of offences can be very adequately uh, investigated by the regional CIBs with assistance as required from the armed robbery squad and, and the broader detectives at State Crime Operations Command. We always have confidence that uh, the regional detectives will get a result in most of these matters and as the results overnight have proven, that confidence is well placed. Tony, nothing particularly pleasing given how brazen the attack on the lucky star we've seen security footage was to, to have people uh, arrested now. Yes, it was. And the Those persons are currently assisting police can, at this time and uh, they'll be appearing in court uh, tomorrow and they may appear at either Brisbane or the Richlands courts. Can I just say that whilst we recognise that every armed robbery is a very serious offence, no matter what weapons used, what time of the day, wherever it is, what the premises are, there's no doubt that the arrest this morning for these two hotel robberies are at the upper end of the scale given the late hour, that the number of offenders, the fact they're armed with shotguns, the fact they're prepared to use personal violence against uh, staff to gain their compliance. Um, the threat of serious injury in those type of incidents is certainly heightened and we're very pleased that uh, the detectives in Metro South have got this result and arrested at least some of the offenders, but we are keen to arrest all of them and to also to recover the weapons they used. 
No. Are we talking a huge number or just a couple? I won't comment at this time. Ross, well, so do you think the, um, the risk Clearance rates that we were talking about the other week, which hover around 50% across the state and go up and down. Do you think that's actually encouragement for a lot of would be armed robbers? And the current spate that we saw during April and perhaps continuing on might be a result that they think they can get away with? I think uh, across the state we have uh, a clearance rate on average year in, year out of around 55%. I think given the, uh, the nature of the crime, and uh, the difficulties that are posed to police in solving some of these crimes, I think that's uh, a healthy clear-up rate. We're never satisfied. We want to do better. We want it to be 100%, and if we could, it would be, and we never strive for anything less than 100% clear-up of every serious crime we have. But I don't think anyone who sees that clear-up rate should, would gain any confidence from that. Uh, all, all they can gain confidence from or reassurance is the fact that we will never stop looking for them and uh, we will continue with these investigations and when the regions need assistance from uh, other specialist areas of the service they know they have it quickly and we will work collaboratively to get these uh, offenders before they continue to terrorise members of the public. Are there any preventative measures that you guys are now trying to use? To well we always encourage people to take some responsibility for helping themselves to prevent attacks of all sorts of crime. Uh, in the armed robbery space I think people could probably take a, a lead from what the Australian Bankers Association did a number of years ago in target hardening banking premises. That's led to a significant reduction in armed robberies on banks and obviously a corresponding reduction in the trauma to uh, bank employees. So we'd encourage people who have uh, cash businesses that may be the target of armed robberies to see what they can do about target hardening their premises. If they want assistance, each of the police districts has a district crime prevention officer who will be more than happy to go out, talk to them and give them some advice about how they can upgrade their security. Could you briefly describe maybe what, what those measures might be? Well, they can be, uh, well for a start, uh, we obviously would like to see high quality CCTV used both inside and outside the premises to help us as much as the, we can if there is an offence. Uh, Anti-jump counters, um, uh, glass, uh, locks on doors to prevent entry late in the night. All of those sorts of issues. Anything that would deter a would-be offender from picking your premises and looking elsewhere, it really would hopefully be the goal of every business owner. How many police are involved in the In excess of 50 uh, police were involved in executing search warrants. And did any of the no, they're all compliant. Five separate incidents on the south side, is that right? The south side logo, is that what we're seeing? Operation Juliet Ventura is looking at a number of um, robberies um, within the metro south region. This is part of Operation uh, Ventura. So it's not limited to the Sunnybank Lucky Star? It certainly is not, no. Oh, it's a quite a significant arrest, obviously. I personally believe it's, um, it'll no doubt prevent um, some fairly further violent offences occurring. Um, the work by the detectives involved was uh, quite brilliant. Obviously the concern for us is when we have multiple offenders, uh, the more offences they do, the chances of the, of the violence escalating increases, and they've already shown they're prepared to use personal violence as well as being armed with shotguns. So the threat of someone being very seriously injured or killed you know, is very high. One uh, of quite a significant amount was... was okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.